Yeah, man. Time to get a fucking burger, you know? Yeah, I, I already got mine with uh, him there. Okay. Also, you're really you're really living up to the stereotype the way you parked your truck here. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's perfect. I mean, usually my chauffeur does it, so for me, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you props for that. Let's go. Let's see. Nine to nine. I got to look at these times here. Make sure I know. Is it open? I think it is because I just opened the door, but... ATM machine. I don't see an ATM machine here. Sir, I think you're missing an ATM machine. Also, that's like saying automatic teller machine machine, so I don't know why you say that. What, ATM machine? Because ATM is already an acronym, you know. <laughs> Wait, who said that? The guy who just went in? No, I said that. I mean, it says on the sign, it says oh. ATM machine. So that means it's saying oh, what the? automatic teller machine machine. Yeah, that uh, yeah, that doesn't make much sense. Well, I mean, it is burger shot. You can't you can't expect too much. Yeah, my dad taught me that one. Then he showed me how to rock and roll. Yeah, man. Fuck taxes. Yo, man, time for a burger. D sir, I'm, I, I, need to, I need to have a bit of uh, identification here. I've never hey, seen sir, this Hey, sir, he's, he's an before. imposter. Yeah, I can tell. That man is an imposter. On. He hasn't talked to me once. He's an imposter. You need to call the you need to you need to call the police. He's a he's an imposter. The I'm hell is this? I just wanted a here. damn burger. Uh, he's not sir, the real I'm burger sorry. shot. Hey, I'm show sorry, show buddy. us your face. All right, sir. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to call the cops really quick. Hang on, I'm gonna take care of this really quick, and then I'll get to your. Hey, order. I'll make sure he doesn't run. I I have a concealed carry permit. Oh, okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Well, since he's out here, I'm gonna take your order really quick. So, what what did you want, sir? Uh, let me let me look up here. Um, give me I mean, the heart stopper. I'll take a heart stopper. Oh yeah, we definitely. You want the heart stopper? All right. Is that just the meal, or is that going to be everything for you? Make it the meal, and give me the biggest damn drink you got. All right, fantastic, sir. That'll be $15 for you. All right, thank you very much, sir. Your order number is going to be number three, and I'll get that out to you as soon as possible. All right, sounds good. Number three, like Dale Earnhardt. So pretty, lady. Howdy, how are you? Well, my hotel lost one of my bags, but other than that, I love this place. Are you talking to yourself over here? I think she's talking to herself. How are things? Not bad. I'm going in. I'm a little confused. Stomach stapling next week. Got a good excuse. All right, order number three. Your meal is ready. Sweet. You know I'm craving this all day. Well, fantastic, sir. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you, and uh, good luck with that imposter. Yeah, I don't know what was going on with that, but I'm going to get the cops out here, so. If I know anything, it's imposters. I get people trying to be me all the time. I'm going to sit over here I in the corner booth. Sir. <laughs> Where did you guys go to now? <laughs> I'm still yeah. sitting. Uh, let's just say I was chasing him, and he jumped. I didn't realize that he jumped off of a giant ledge and i followed suit and we're both laying here i'm dying and he has two broken legs oh i'm technically dying as well yeah because my guy just got out of icu not that long ago so you could say, you could say he's on his last legs <laughs> yeah that was a damn good burger man are you oh, still I, looking I for that guy it, man 
Well, he somebody shot the guy or something. I'm trying to get a hold of the cops, but no, he's picking up. Shh. Figures. We don't pay enough taxes, I guess, right, man? He knows what I'm talking about. Well, I'm going to go outside. I'll see if I can't figure out what's going on. Maybe I can call up some people. I don't know where you guys are. <laughs> uh, you might have to do a little If you go in the car park and then go to the wall, but don't jump over, we're over the other side of that. <laughs> yeah, make sure you don't jump. <laughs> yeah. It's a very big drop. I thought it was just going to be like a small drop. That, yeah, that me too. Easily, it's like a little parkour thing, but no. <laughs> does does this count as roadside assistance? <laughs> Maybe. We're not exactly on a road, though. <laughs> hey, are you guys dead? Okay, so you're conscious. I'm knocked out. Sweet. <laughs> you guys I mean, dead? Technically, I should be unconscious. <laughs> are you dead? Do you want to be? <laughs> put put him out of his misery. <laughs> Do you need help? Oh, Jace. Just gonna do that. I mean, technically, I should definitely be knocked out because I hit my head. <laughs> oh yeah. Here, let me see if I can get something. I can't do the dead emote because you're already dead. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, did that work? <laughs> yeah, SOS. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Batman down here. <laughs> oh, so pretty. So pretty. Fireworks show. <laughs> yeah, you're showing fireworks to two dead people. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh this is quite the Vikings funeral if I've seen one. I <laughs> know, way. I hear sirens now. <laughs> well, you yeah, might wanna keep... <laughs> you might want to keep doing them. Yeah. If a 911 call won't get their attention, maybe shooting off guns will. <laughs> yeah, shooting fireworks in the air. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the the people to come over here and start beating him up because he's shooting a gun. Yeah. <laughs> Granted, that happens more in the county, but, you know. <laughs> oh, that one was right above. <laughs> also, I like how nobody really seemed to care too much that I fired a gun in the street. I know. I, I know mean, I wasn't. That. I was like, I wasn't hey. aiming for you. I was purposely aiming to the right, but. <laughs> oh, here they are. Officer, I need help. I need help. Hold on. Don't, don't shoot. Don't shoot. Need help. Even if he says he was doing it to get their attention, he's going to get arrested. Yeah, he is. I need help. Not, not going to harm you. I'll stand like this. There's a couple guys down this alley back here. They look like they're hurt. No joke. That's why I was shooting the fireworks what's going, off. What's going on? Hello? I, I was trying to get your attention. There's a couple guys down here, and uh, I still had some fireworks from my Rockstar show, and I noticed they're, like, they're hurt, and I think they fell from up there or something. They're on the ground. One of them's knocked out. And I tried calling 911, but I didn't get anybody, so I shot my fireworks. Okay, so you did the equivalent of smoke signals. Yeah, as best I could, yeah, but they were all colorful and pretty from my Rockstar show. Okay, can you can you go show me where these these guys are? Yeah, yeah, you can follow me. Here, I'll, I'm going to run a little bit because it, it's pretty urgent. They're going to be right around this corner. One of them's got a hamburger head, and the other one, I don't know. They just... They look like they fell from way up there because they're both just kind of knocked out down here. Yeah, see, there's the other guy right there. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. And I think the one with the burger head is knocked out, which serves him right. That looks ridiculous. Okay. All right. Just hang tight. Uh, do you still have that fireworks launcher on you? I do. Do, do you need me to drop okay. it? No, that's fine. Do you have any weapons on you? Um, I just got my little pocket knife, and that's about it. Okay, all right, just hang on. I'm gonna get these guys some help. Okay. There you go. You guys happy now? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did you did you tell him that was your SOS beacon? Right. Pretty much. 
this burger head thing makes okay, perfect sense for today. Out here. I gotta, let me take a look. Can, can, dude, can I just... <laughs> you just... I just need to make sure you're not gonna stab me with this knife, man. Okay, what do you want me to do with it? you mind if I just grab it from you? Yeah, hold on, hold on a second. Um... Hey, can you, uh... Hey, He's waiting for you on to... This, on that guy over there? Over there. Right He's over waiting here. for you guys to type in yeah. your vitals. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Took you long enough. <laughs> I can't spell, okay? Leave <laughs> me alone. <laughs> hey, sir, did you see what happened? No, I, I, um, I went up to get a heart stopper at the burger shot, which is just right over this wall up there. And I noticed this dude with the burger hat was behind the counter and somebody else was calling him an imposter. And I think that guy chased the burger hat guy out the door. And, uh, I don't think they okay. knew that there was this big drop here. I think, uh, I think one was chasing the other and they tried to run away. Okay. And then splat. And you didn't see, like, you didn't see any foul play or anything like that? No, I was inside getting food at that time. I just, I came out here looking for him because the guy, the manager in the burger shot up there wanted me to look for him. So I figured I'd do my, my good deed for the day. Okay, I'll well, appreciate you. Um, so they just ran out of the burger shot after each other? Yeah, I think the guy to the left by the door i think he was chasing the goofy looking dude right there okay okay well we got ems for a while we're gonna try and help these guys i appreciate you helping man and sorry i had to take the knife man it's just there's just trying to help these guys i just want to make sure you're not gonna stab me you know because <laughs> i don't know what happened here i don't know if you pushed them or you know what i mean yeah i don't i didn't see any of that stuff i was probably eating my fries at that point okay. in time yeah, well, Hey man, okay, this guy, he's unconscious. He looks like he's got some blunt force trauma to the head. He's got a puddle of blood near his head there. Okay, I'll tell you take over. Yeah, let these guys take over. Yeah, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I feel like I'm congesting the scene. Do you want me to wait over by your car or something? Yeah, here, I'll walk with you. I'll get your statement from you. Okay. All right, buddy. What do we got going on? Boy, that's a lot of flashing lights. It's like one of my rock shows. Yeah, well, two two down people are gonna try and give them as much help as we can. I'm just gonna move my car here and see if we can get traffic moving. Okay, I'll saying. wait over here. I'll wait right here. Appreciate it. I'm just gonna write up uh, your statement here. So basically, you went to get a burger. That uh, the man in the non-uniform chased the uniform guy out of the burger shot. You came out here looking for him, and you, that's when you found him. That they had fallen off that ledge. Yeah, that's that, right? that pretty much is what it sounds like. Um, um, yeah, the manager up there, the burger shot, he might have something to say too. Just so you're aware. Um, like I said, I, I just came out into the parking lot. I heard a little bit of groaning or something. And so I checked down here, and that's where they were. And then I signaled you guys like Batman, and you came on your way. Yeah, I appreciate that, man. I, I'm, yeah, I'm not going to give you shit for fu shooting the fireworks because it was, you know, it was an emergency situation. So we'll uh, appreciate you trying to get a hold of us. I'm sorry that our dispatch was uh, a little tied up. It's been a busy night. I mean, I was a little scared to do it at first, but it felt like the only option I had at the time. Yeah, you bet, man. <clears throat> so what's your name, dude? It's Kruger, Chad. I'm the lead singer of Back Chad Nickel. Kruger? Okay. It's Kruger, Chad. Here, Never I can give that. you my ID if you need it. Yeah, that'd be, uh, that'd be great, man. You don't have any wants or warrants out for you, do you? Uh, I don't think so anymore. I did accidentally give some alcohol to a minor. I thought he was of age, and uh, that was a whole ordeal, uh, and I, I had to go to jail for a little while. But, hey, that just looks That's good on the, on the spreadsheet, you know, for uh, 
my accolades, win a couple Grammys, okay. go to jail for giving alcohol to a minor, stuff like that. Wait, you're oh wait, I th- back nickel. Oh, do you guys do that song? That's uh, look at this graph. Well, yeah, it's graph photo, and it's a uh, look at this graph. Look at photo. this graph. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, we got that one. We got. You like, guys are uh, from. Uh... You remind me of something, but I don't remember what it is, or how you did it. How you did it? Yeah, I remember that one. This is how you did it. Those are the only ones I know, actually. Oh, and then there's the other big one is Star Rocker. It's like, hey, hey, star I rocker. want a Star Rocker. These are really catchy. Well, thanks. I thought of them myself. I mean, sometimes now, uh, substances yeah, Mr. were involved. Uh, Mr. Chad. Um, yeah. So I read in an interview that said that Back Nickel is going to be bigger than the Beatles. Do you actually think that? Well, hey, man. If the Beatles ever got back together, they'd have to catch up to us. Let's put it that way. Okay. That's quite, that's quite the statement. Well, for one thing, my hair is a lot better than theirs. Yeah, I kind of like it. You got you got rid of the, like the spaghetti looking hair. You cut you cut it. Yep, yep. And I was married to Levine Avril, and uh, she's way hotter than Yoko Ono. Oh, she did that. Uh, Yoko. She did that uh, that famous song. Uh, um. Um. Roller Skater Boy? Yeah, that it was like fruit booting or something. And then there was also um, one of my favorites, and this is how she got me, is, uh, is uh, hey, hey, you, you, I really like your girlfriend and I uh, want to get in bed with the three of you or something like that, you know. And I forget, oh, yeah, I mean, right. who, who really listens to their wives anyways, right? <laughs> Well then, then did, so did she? Was that? Be, did she? Were you married to her, or was that before? Or after that, she dated uh, that guy from Sum Forty Two. It was either Sum Forty Two uh, or Derek. It was either yeah, Sum Forty Two, or... Derek uh, Gribbley. Oh yeah, I couldn't remember if it was that no name band or if it was uh, One Sixty Nine Blink. Yeah, those guys are good. I like those guys. I like both of them, to be honest. I really like some 42. Now, you talk about good hair. That one blonde guy had really good hair. The, the which guy? Wait, my think. Yeah, the blonde guy. Isn't there a blonde guy in that band? Blonde guy. From which one? 169 Blink or some 42? Some 42. The you know they, yeah, the they, lead singer. That's who dated uh, Levine Amaral. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I I forgot. I joked about that with friends that she just likes blondes and that's it. I still think my hair is better. Yeah, they did that. Uh, they did that one famous song, Skinny Lip. You know that song, Skinny Lip, and uh, into uh, into not, shallow. Not too deep. Heads up. Not too deep. Heads up. Not chasing somebody around the corner here. Okay, we're we're busy. Uh oh. I'm getting a statement. Yeah. Well. Dude, don't mind us. Yeah, we're just talking about good music. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about good music. Ryan, do you mind if I have a quick chat with you? Uh, yeah. Yeah, one second. Okay, sir. <laughs> that, uh, that'll that do it for the, uh, All the right, statement so here. Go with this you one. can just sign it. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. I just came down from up the top uh, to let you know what the person okay. description was, and I noticed that you with this gentleman. Um, okay. I'll double go double check with 757 if Here's you like. Here's your uh, clipboard you, uh, back. Yeah. There you go. Oh, thank you. Apparently, I'm still holding it. There we go. Do you mind if I just do a quick search on you? Just make sure you don't have any other weapons. Yeah, that's fine. 
Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, you're all good, sir. Your hands down. Yeah, he didn't have a gun on him. No, I gave up my gun. I just hire security now. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright. Um, just hang on, hang on a sec, uh, Mr. Chad. Hey, Kroger! Yeah, what's up? So... Can you tell us what happened in the burger shop before those guys left? Did you have, like, do you have a, did you go in with anyone? Uh, well, I pulled into the parking lot and there was a guy out there and I just showed him something. There was a sign on the wall that I thought was funny. And we did walk in side by side, but when I got in there, uh, there was already, uh, there was already that goofy looking dude behind the counter and the manager was saying that, he, he was an imposter, and they were going to call 911 and all that stuff. But, uh, okay. no, I, I came in all by myself. I mean, my car is, is uh, my beautiful Cadillac is still up there in the parking lot. It's just that I was, okay. like, next to the guy. Okay, so you're, you, you don't, you're not, you don't know him previously. Okay, did you see him brandish a weapon at all? No, I didn't, uh... I didn't see anybody have a gun or anything. The only weird thing I saw was the dude with the goofy burger hat. Okay. Okay, all right. Um, okay, just can you just hang tight with us for a little bit? We're just going to see if we can uh, get a little more information because uh, we got a call about a uh, somebody brandishing a, a weapon in the burger shot, and then... This all happened. As we were responding to this, I saw you shooting fireworks, so I, I diverted to see what was going on over here. So we're just going to figure out who, if anyone did fire a weapon in that burger shot. Okay, well, all I had were the fireworks. They were still in the trunk of my car, so... Yeah. So that's okay. where I got those. But I don't have a gun. So you, you weren't... Uh, yeah, so you didn't know that guy that walked in with you. What was he wearing? Was that, was that your witness... The well, there was two guys that were nearby. Uh, there was the one dude that was back there that fell down, the wearing dark clothes, Hola. and there was another dude that was uh, having to write everything on pads, and uh, he had a shirt that said something about taxes or BS. So, those are the only two customers that I saw. I mean, okay. besides myself. Okay. All right. Okay, just hang tight with us. Wide load coming through. All right, I'm gonna strum a little bit more. Yep, go right ahead. Yes, thank you for calling back. Hey, hey, yeah. I'm gonna drink a rock star. <laughs> there it is. Hey, Grog. Yeah. I'm just hop in the back of my car here, real quick. We're just gonna we're just gonna go up to the burger shot and just uh. Get to a little safer location. We're just going up to the parking lot, and we're going to figure this out for Okay. Real quick. Yeah, I can do that. All right. Yeah, we'll just get you in the back. You could be my chauffeur. You betcha. Oh, be whoops. Security guard. I'm in the wrong side. Is this okay? No, this is fine. I already searched it. You're fine. Oh, crap. Ow. Oh, I already started. This is a pretty car. Yeah, it's okay. I ought to get some of these for my security detail. Oh my god, this jackass. That was pretty close. Was, oh my god. I was. Come on. Hey, you stole my spot! What the fuck? 
Alright, all right, Kroger, you can jump out. <laughs> he just he just stole my spot. Yeah, okay, sir, I'm arresting um, you. That was really rude. You guys have uh, CCTV camera He's a uh, hearing impaired. Oh, is he? Yes, that's why he's writing everything down on that notepad. Okay, well, if uh, if we don't find anything, I'm going to let this guy go. Officers, yeah. did you notice this window over here on this car? Looks like, looks like somebody did something to it. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice that when I pulled in last night because it was dark out. But can see it now. Hey, hey there's the manager. Has anybody right, told you sir. about the two people that were here beforehand, about these two cars, the green one and the, the silver truck over there? Yeah, I think when I came in, there okay. was a guy right next to the green one. That's, I think, the guy I walked in with. Well, yeah, because there was a guy in a gray shirt, there was quick. somebody else with, like, a, a cowboy hat or something. I don't know what was going on with those two, but they said they were friends. I saw, when they pulled up, one, the guy in the silver truck was beating on the guy's green car, and then they came into Burger Shot, they were punching each other and all that kind of stuff. I was going to call the cop, or I was threatening to call the cops on them, but they kept doing it. Uh, they Alex. ordered, and then they left, but yeah. then they stuck around the parking lot for a bit. I'm not really sure what was going on with them at all. Hey, sir, you're, you got a really he... soft voice. If, do you mind just, you know, speaking up a little bit? Just really soft. You don't have to be scared of the police. And the person from the Dodge Ram came over. He was beating on this green's car, or on this green car here. And then they proceeded to come into my building. Uh, they were starting to punch each other and all that kind of stuff. They were like, oh, we're just friends, you know, we're just messing with each other. Uh, they, they bought something, and then they hung around in the parking lot for a bit. Get out the vehicle for me, sir. He's and, deaf, he's deaf. And the, uh, the deaf person came over, uh, and he told me about the shooting that happened. This guy here, he came in late. He oh, was, he was in the water. store most of the time with me. And then... That's when everything kind of kicked off after that. So I don't know if the person in the silver truck has anything to do with it or what happened there. Okay. And were you were you working the burger shop, sir? Yes. Yep. I've been here okay. the whole shift. You've been here the whole. Okay. So did did someone brandish a firearm at all? There was no gun inside the store, but like I said, they were just sitting around the parking lot for a bit. They were going back and forth, and then at some point they disappeared, and the the deaf guy came back in. Wrote me a note. He was all frantic and writing really quickly. He was like, "Somebody just got shot down in the canals," and then that's when I called you guys, and that's where everything kind of kicked off. Uh, okay. So it was a, okay. So this was a it was a false re false report of the uh, shooting. He probably heard the fireworks maybe, and thought that they got shot when they found him, because this guy this guy found him, and there was no gunshot wounds to him. So I think we can rule that one out. Um, so this sounds like it was just an altercation between the two individuals. They chased each other, fell fell off a building, and that's where we're at. That yeah, is that seem accurate? Oh, they were here. I don't know about well, you, but uh, that no, there, there was the not everybody was, like, at once. He took out his. Uh, the deaf individual said he took out his firearm and wanted to try and take a shot at the shooter, so there was a firearm involved in that sense, and that's okay. what this individual told me right here. But he doesn't want to give yes. any ID. His vehicle's not registered, so I can't get an ID. So. Well, he's been driving around okay. in a non-registered vehicle. He went through a red light. Okay. I think all we can do now is follow up with the two uh, two victims at the hospital, see what they say, um, see what's going on there. Because it sounds like it was just between the two of those guys. Yeah, man, all I wanted was that heart stopper. And then I was walking in, and I saw they had that, that ATM machine sign, which is kind of weird. And then, yeah, all that stuff happened. But, hey, I'm looking over at that silver truck right now, and I don't know about you, but it looks to me like it's sitting kind of weird, like it has a flat tire. It looks okay. like it's kind of leaning, which one, the, uh, unless that's right? just my direction. Yeah. It had the the driver's side front wheels like the John's rim, so. Okay. Yeah, I'm not kind. 
I'm not sure what kind of friendship they had, but it's a pretty messed up one, if from what I can tell. Okay, well, we'll we'll follow up with them at the hospital, see if uh, one they're okay, and two if uh, what the story is. And I don't think there's gonna be any charges if it was a mutual thing. But uh, it seems like everything's okay here for now. Mr. Kroger, you've been very helpful. I'll let you go tonight. I got your statement. Okay. You got my autograph? My graph auto? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go to that autograph. tab vehicle accident. I'm looking at it. All right. Thanks for coming out. All right. See you guys out there. Keep on rocking. Okay. I'm just going to make well, one more sweep down there, make sure there's no other uh, victims of the horse play. Probably just clear up, I guess, okay. for now. I think then I will wrap this one up. Yeah, I know there's a canal right by there, so I'm just going to go and uh, double check since they use the word canal. Okay. Okay, sir, thanks for your help. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. If you ever need anything else, uh, just call me up or anything like that. Wait, no. Oh my god, that was a lot longer than I wanted to be talking like that. <laughs> Is someone coming to here? Or do you not know? To, like, get you guys? Yeah, we've yeah. been here for a long time just laying. Yeah, I think they're gonna come up there. Burger shorts now closed. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. After an hour long investigation. Oh, yeah. Yeah, my recording is on an hour and four minutes right now. Oh, shit. I think Ryan still has my knife. Damn it. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> He took it from me because he was all worried I would stab him or something. Yeah, I like how he thought you were. He, he, he was gonna like bend over to help. You were just gonna like stab him in the neck. How's it oh, going? Oh, what a night! How's it going? Oh, there's Pretty your good. ATM. Ha! I was gonna. I was gonna go get myself some upgrades on my sweet ride out there, but apparently. They don't take the they don't take the fleece uh, debit card. Ah man, that's whack. Yeah, right, so what can I help you with? Um well, let's see, I'll take one of those bottles of whiskey if you got it. And then All right. I'll take a hot babes magazine. And um uh, right. Let's see here. I'll take, I'll take a, a scratch off ticket. All right, which one? Um. Well, what's the hottest one now? Thirty dollar one. And you can win one hundred and fifty five million dollars. Oh yeah, let's try that. That's like All my right. rock star money. And right. then I better get a bull energy at the same time. All right. All right, that's going to be $68, I believe. Oh, close. I almost got to 69 Yeah, I mean, you can buy one more thing. You know, pack, buy a pack of gum, you, you can get the $69 if you want. Ah, you it's no fun if I don't, don't do it, you know, uh, by accident. Yeah. But that's the funny part. When you see it by accident, you're like, ha-ha. Yeah. All right, want it back for that stuff? Yeah. Yeah, I'll need a bag. All right. These jeans are a little tight. Can't fit too much in the pockets. All right, man, here you go. You have a good one. 
All right, thanks. Hopefully it's quiet for you. There was just some uh, really yeah. crazy stuff over a burger shot. <laughs> I don't think you want that what? over here. Should I just message him and ask? Like, yeah, you? I'd probably just shoot him a text or something. I mean, it's literally been a half hour. I just want to make sure they even know where. I wish they took us to the real hospital, but. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Now I'm getting pulled over. Oh. Hello, sir. What's up, McKenzie with the LSPD? The reason for the stop is, um that uh, you ran a red light right in front of me. What's up with that? There was a, it was yellow. Uh, no, it was pretty red, sir. We were, we were both on a red light there. Oh, and I thought... you kind of cut across two lanes to get across into that left turn. Uh, yeah, I came out of that, that LTD parking lot in, in a little goofy situation. I kind of had to do that, but I, I could have swore it was yellow. Can I just get your license registration proof insurance, sir? Yeah. And uh, are you aware of the shots fired in the area at all? Any uh, information? I don't know how long you've been in the area. I saw you were parked up. No, I just came into the LTD. I was over at the burger shot having to deal with all that kind of nonsense. Oh, it's Mr. Chad. Yeah, I remember dealing with you, sir. All right, I'll be right back, all right? Okay. All right, so here's all your information back. Sorry about the stop and uh, inconvenience. Yeah, like like I said, it looked red to me, and then um, you know you kind of went through two across two lanes to get to you where you wanted to be. Um, so kind of kind of just weirded, weirded me out. Um, but here's all your information back. Appreciate your cooperation. It's just gonna be um, you know just a heads up that you know be careful. Okay. Uh, on the lane changes and the left turns and all that. But uh, you're pretty good. Have a great night, safe night. Um, probably leave the area as soon as you can. We heard the shot fired. All right, thank you, officer. No problem. Have a safe night, Mr. Chad. We're clear here, buddy. Um, hold on. Okay. Pull up. Uh, let's just let this guy go. <laughs> 